If you've spent time out in the bush throughout the Victorian goldfields, there's a good chance you've come across one of these strange ring-shaped depressions in the ground. These are the remains of puddling machines from the region's busy gold mining past. Gold puddling is a technique for separating gold from clay, which was developed in the early years of the Victorian gold rush. In many areas, gold was trapped within tough clay, and in order to retrieve it, the clay needed to be effectively broken up. In the very early days, this was all done by hand in a puddling tub. But it wasn't long before the puddling machine was invented, right here in the Victorian goldfields. A circular trench in the ground, lined with wood, was filled with gold-bearing clay and water. The gold-bearing wash dirt was brought to the puddling machine from surrounding alluvial diggings. A horse circled the trench and dragged a harrow through the mixture, breaking up the lumps and turning it into a runny sludge. The gold and other heavy materials released from the clay would sink to the bottom. Once the larger rocks were manually removed, the heavy residue at the bottom of the puddler would then be cleaned up and washed for gold using a cradle or pan. Robert Bro Smythe included a great diagram of a horsepower puddling machine in his 1869 book, The Goldfields and Mineral Districts of Victoria. Here you can see the puddling trench lined with wood, the water supply and discharge drain, and the flat area where the horse circled the machine. The remains of these puddling machines can be found scattered in abundance throughout the region's alluvial goldfields, and once you know what they look like, you'll see them all the time out in the bush. A typical gold puddler, as they are left today, consists of a circular depression in the ground. Occasionally they will have remnants of their wooden post in the centre. Very rarely they can have remnants of the wooden slats which lined the puddling trench. Some puddlers were constructed using different materials, such as concrete or corrugated iron. Many of the remaining gold puddling machines you come across out in the bush were horse-powered, but puddlers were steam-powered as well. Large mining companies could have many of these steam-powered puddlers set up to process their wash dirt. There are a few places around the Victorian goldfields where you can check out reconstructed gold puddling machines. These are fantastic examples of the technology and are definitely worth a look. Sovereign Hill in Ballarat has a horse-powered puddler on display alongside the diggings. They also have a steam-powered puddler set up in their Red Hill mine building. This reconstructed gold puddler at Rue is a brilliant example to check out. While you're there, be sure to go around the corner and take a look at the impressive balaclava mine. Over in Wedderburn, there's another reconstructed gold puddler on display at the Hard Hill Tourist Reserve. Gold puddling machines are an important part of Victoria's prosperous gold mining heritage, being one of the only mining technologies developed entirely on the Victorian goldfields. These puddlers are protected under heritage laws and must not be disturbed. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, let me know by hitting the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to Goldfields Guide on YouTube.